Hotep Leo. So, love, I can see you have somebody who is about to move towards you, who is moving towards you, or who has already stepped on the scene from another city, another state, or another country. This person could be uh, in the same city as you, but just across town. They're making their way towards you, all right? Now, as you can see, this light coming down into this person's head right here. This person and you have been communicating on a very light level, okay? It's like, you know, your conversation has not been so heavy. It's been very fun. It's been very, you know, a conversation that uh, you feel that brought y'all closer, at least mentally and spiritually or even emotionally, right? Now, when this person comes to your door, Leo, uh, you're going to feel some type of way about them because they're the damn devil, baby, okay? When they get there, they're going to have some type of energy that just pulls you in. That's the reason why this person's hand is out here. Now, Leo, they're going to come in your house, baby. You're going to have to prepare yourself for this person to go ahead and get booty butt naked right in front of you. Put out their hand and, you know, try to bring you to their uh, never, never land. Okay. Now, the reason why I say that is because here is the Ace of Wands here. The Ace of Wands means that this person has been moving towards you all along thinking or their mind has been on fire thinking about having some real hot passionate freaky sex with you okay so when they get there leo they're going to have a very strong uh passion for you okay they may already be erected when they come to the door or their kitty may already be wet baby okay now let's see who the heck we talking about uh we're talking of course about another leo of course, it had to be another Leo fireball coming straight at you from another place, right to your daggone door, Leo. Very passionate. Very passionate like the Aries. The Aries, very passionate. So you're dealing with somebody who is a fire sign just like you, Leo. Oh, you also got Saturn here, which is telling me that baby, baby. This person may be a karmic relationship, may be a lesson for you. And what it's telling me is that um, it's a lesson because you need to slow your roll, Leo. I mean, you're the fireball. You go in, okay? But you have to slow your roll when it comes to having relations with people on a sexual tip, okay? It may be that this is just a lesson or you could just be dealing with an Aquarius or a Capricorn. Now here we got an air sign, double confirmation of an Aquarius, okay? Somebody who's coming at you like a, very much in their head fantasizing about what they want to do to your body, okay? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Now when this person steps on the scene, you're, the universe, your ancestors, or the deity that you are worshiping want you to have some type of... Um, crystal on you we have the crystal cards here and you have these two crystals the back the black tourmaline so this is telling me that your ancestors or you know the universe wants you to have something as a protection here because if you don't have a protection when dealing with the devil this person can pull you into a world that is inescapable and is very miserable and only sex based okay now here we got um this uh, spessartine garnet, okay? So get the spessartine garnet as well as a source of protection, okay? Because that's what you're going to need. Either one of those crystals can help you when you come in contact with this person. Or if this person has not come to your house yet, uh, Leo, go ahead and get those crystals and have them around your house whenever they get there because this person is not somebody who is your average individual. Okay, now Leo, here's the Casanova Terra. Get your three shuffles. Leo, this is your lover's abyss reading for the month of May 2021. Uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Lilith signs baby okay 
and I am the Cosmic Divine Tarot. Leo, let's talk about this whole uh, devil energy, okay? Let's clarify the devil. Can you clarify the devil for Leo? Here we go. Okay, now the devil has been clarified with the Ace of Pentacles and the uh, um, Knave of uh, Swords here. So this is telling me that somebody has been watching you for some time, Leo. That you have been talking to this person for some time and things have been moving slowly between you two, okay? This is telling me that this person has this whole idea on this pentacle or this pentacle on, uh, on this horse right here that they are thinking about the type of effort that they want to put into your union, okay? They have been spying on you and watching you just to make sure that you do not come in contact with another person and when you did or you told this person that you met somebody else or that you were talking to somebody else that's when this daggone knight of uh pentacles uh started to move faster towards you okay that's this devil right here who've been watching you spying on you creeping on you and everything like that acting like you know maybe they were not trying to be with you because it was a very slow moving process okay but in all actuality they have been desiring you for quite some time leo okay now let's go ahead and get another uh clarifier for leo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith. Yes, baby. Moving towards you. Here is uh, this person uh, moving towards you with the Ace of, with the Six, the Six of Swords, okay? This person uh, coming at you or trying to get you to come to them, okay? Either way, either way, they've been trying to, you know, move in on you for quite some time, Leo. All right? And like I said, when you found... That when they found out that you were talking to somebody else, if you told them that you were talking to somebody else, even if it was just a daggone friend, this person was like, no, nah, I got to come across the world. Let's clarify this world then. Let's clarify this world then for Leo. Mm, because they didn't want to be in no daggone three of swords. So you mean to tell me that this person... Mm, they may be coming from a place that is real jacked up, Leo. Like, you know, maybe the slums or something. Some place that is real, like, you know, tore up from the daggone floor up across the world to your place, which is a palace. Of course, because they're dealing with a lioness, a lion. Okay, royalty here, the god, the goddess. Okay, so yeah, they're coming from a daggone slum to your house. That's the reason. That's another reason why. That's another reason why they're doing it. They don't want you to break their heart because they know that you are somebody who can help them live a lavish life, Leo. Okay, now let's get some more clarifiers. Mm, Leo, what the heck? So this person step on the scene, okay? This person has... Uh, you know, motives that are not so good, Leo. It could be that they're just using you for your money right here. You may have, uh, like I said, royalty. You're the god. You're the goddess, okay? You're the sun. Of course you have things that you need in your life, and this person wants it. They seem to be have. They could be having somebody else with them that they've been plotting this whole time, Leo. Could be another mate that they've been living in the slums with, and now they're trying to come to your palace or you know the your gates. Okay, how <laughs> hopefully having your gates open to this person so they can come in and pretend to give you the ten of uh chalices here somebody who wants you sitting on them and and grinding on them while they plant with your nipples and kissing on your your breasts right here leo okay somebody wants to act like they have all this emotion okay or they may do they may have this emotion they may feel emotional about you okay but i say that it's pretend because there is, it's, it has the deck on seven of swords on it, which means that this person is not any good for you, Leo. Okay? And they're coming across the world after plotting and planning with other people to be in your life, to be in your home, making you feel like they're in love with you. If they're not in love with you, 
Now, it's quite possible that they are in love with you and they have been asking their friends for help and their friends have been telling them, you know, all types of things to do to get to you. Like, you know, all types of sneaky ways that they can get into your house. It doesn't necessarily have to be that this is somebody who is a mate. You know what I'm saying? This could be a friend right here. A friend who they're talking to, Leo. This could be some type of friend that they knew that they were sitting at the daggone coffee table without the daggone coffee shop making all types of plans to get with you. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't want to live the life uh, that uh, you are not providing them. Now, how about that Ace of Wands right there? Can we get some clarifiers on the Ace of Wands? Okay. Leo, oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely Leo, look at this daggone chariot right here, this person trying to be successful in their mind having sex with you first, okay, they want to take you away, they want to take you away, so I'm thinking that somebody's coming to your house to come and take you away some daggone where, or they have you traveling to them, or they're just traveling to you, but I don't I don't see that because there are two people in this car. So it's like, Leo, somebody may come over to your house to get you, okay, and take you somewhere else and be successful having all types of sex with you, baby, okay? Having all types of sex with you all night long, maybe even in the car. Leo, mm, come on, baby, what you got? Lovers, what was that? What was I just saying? Somebody trying to come and be a lover in the back seat of this daggone car. As soon as they come to your house, Leo, and you let them in, the the first thing they're gonna do is pull up your dress and grab for the booty. Okay, they're going to pull up your dress and grab for the booty and hug you and try to make you feel like, you know, you are loved by this person. Now, I'm not going to say that they don't love you. I'm just not going to say that, but I'm going to say that this love is something that you need to be concerned about, Leo. You need to be concerned about this, baby, because it's like I feel this person sees you and want to come towards you with the ace of... um. Ace of Chalices here come to your beautiful residence, okay, and uh, give you the Ace of Cups and start a whole new love with you. But there was a tower. Or when they get there, there's going to be a tower. Now, the tower moment can mean that they are breaking down your defenses, or the tower moment can mean that there was a total and complete, you know, fallout between you and this person and that could be the reason why they're coming towards you they could be coming towards you because they know that you two fell out and they're trying to make it right they're asking people about you when they come to you and people are telling them to just uh you know put you on the daggone wand and start grinding on it Okay, just sit on the wand and start grinding on. Let this person kiss all over your breast and suck all over your nipples, baby. And that's all you got to do. Pour all of this water into them. Now, the water could also be a seed that this person is trying to pour into you to keep you uh, on the scene, Leo. This whole new love that they're trying to give you is something that, like I said, they've been moving slowly towards. But once they heard you were talking to somebody else, they picked up that damn pace real quick. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get into the romance angels. Look at this. Finances and career, Leo. What did I tell you, baby? Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Come on, Leo. Come on, this person in your love life has financial issues. Pay attention to the red flags, Leo. Baby, the signs are cautioning you against this person, okay? This person is not somebody who need to be in Leo's uh, atmosphere or even breathe in Leo's air. So release this person. It says, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So you mean to tell me, Leo, this is an ex moving towards you? Somebody who, like I said, you had a bad falling out with? This person moving towards you trying to, you know, get back into your place because of where the hell they live at is a daggone dump. Now, here we got engagement. They want your love life to ascend to a higher level of commitment. So this person is going to come to you before you release them. 
And, you know, try to get you to be engaged with them. Like, you know, give you a ring or something. Try to keep you or or hold you to them. Because they don't want, like I said, they don't want to be. There could be somebody out there in the streets, Leo. I mean, they could be living in, in hotels or something, baby. They could be, you know, somebody living with somebody else's house and don't have no place of their own. So they need your place, Leo. They need your place to live. And that could be another reason why they're so in love with you. Now, let's go ahead and uh, get you uh, the, the um, what are these things called? These things are called the, the secret language of light. Okay, so they're the light cards. This is what it's saying here. Okay, sensitivity. Sensitivity. This person wants to be sensitive to your needs now. They want to be sensitive to, you know, what it is that you were saying all along with them to make your relationship a better thing before you had that daggone tower moment. So they also probably come to you and bring you a flower, some type of rose or something, some type of, uh, you know, uh, you know, truth between y'all. Now here we got a uh, soul song. Okay. Now. When it's talking about a soul song, this could be your ancestors singing inside of your soul, trying to get you to, you know, uh, pay attention to the red flags, okay? Your soul song, your angels are trying to, you know, come, uh, you know, trying to... Um, speak with you trying to contact you to let you know that this person is not a very good person and also your ancestors need you to ask yourself a question before they even get there leo and that is do i surround myself with people who lift me up or leo do you surround yourself with people who you need to lift up because you being the sun standing there alone all of these planets relying upon you for life represents all these people coming at you relying upon you for life that they're not people who uh lift you up you're some people you're some you're somebody who gives these people life now here's what it says here it says the people with whom we surround ourselves determine who we become. Does your tribe fill you up? Do they inspire you? Do they believe in you? Do they help you step into your greatest potential, Leo? Okay. Now here's today's action. Make a desire list of the type of people with whom you wish to surround yourself with, baby. And clarify if there is anyone in your life who is no longer serving you, okay? Can you love them from a distance? Can you love this person from a distance, Leo? This person who is across the world, who is trying to move towards you, who is coming towards you. Can you just love them from a distance? You don't have to let this person come this close to you. You don't have to do that. Person been plot, plotting and planning and whatnot, Leo. You don't have to let this person uh, get you all in your emotions, get you all uh, sensitive, get you all, you know, crying and whatnot. Because that's what the Ten of Chalices can do, along with the Ace of Chalices when there was a tower moment between you and this fool. No, Leo. Mm -mm. No, baby. No. Pay attention to the red flags. This person is an ex for a reason. All right? There's somebody who you've known for a while, uh, but they're coming into your life as a lover. They want to be a lover now. Okay? This person is not a good option for you, Leo. Now, if you just want to be charitable then yeah, this person is a good option. But if you are not trying to be a Leo who is used by people for a, a better way of life, trying to come from the slum to the damn palace, okay? <laughs> then uh, leave them alone, Leo. Let them go, baby. They don't need to be in your life. I mean, goodness gracious. Like I said, you are the sun. The sun stands alone. People or, or the planets that the sun gives life to are at a distance, love. So you have to keep certain people at a distance till they come at you with the, with the equal light and the equal heat that you need, okay? And it be authentic. Not somebody plotting and planning to get you back in their life, talking to their family, their friends or whatever, trying to get you back on board coming up with all types of ideas and their family telling them offer you love smack them on the booty you know what i'm saying you know suck on the nipples get a go deep inside them these type of things leo you ain't got time baby you need better you deserve better 
Now, Leo, this has been your reading. If it resonated with you, then hit that like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notifier to know and I will be uploading new messages for you. And if this is not your message, then don't worry about it. I'm just going to get you next time, Leo. Also, if you'd like to donate to my channel, then the link to the Cash App and PayPal is in the description box below. And I certainly will appreciate that love. If you want a personal reading, the way to contact me will be in the description box below as well, okay? Until next time, Leo. Peace, love, and light. Hold up, baby.